Thank you so much for coming. It's so exciting to have you here. When I founded this conference five years ago, I never would have dreamed we'd get coverage like this. Well, this is pretty impressive. Yeah. Hey, your press pass gets you into our after parties. Are you a fan of filk music by any chance? Boss, excuse me. Can we talk? We'll gab later. <laughs> hey. So I totally blew it at the office. I told you I wasn't ready. You got resistance from the staff. They barely listened to me. I'm pretty sure they think I don't have enough experience, which I don't, and they think that my suggestions for which stories to cover are wrong. Yeah, uh, I figured that might happen. Then why put me in charge? Well, because you can handle it, and dealing with this is a part of growing into your new position. Well, I am not growing. I am crashing and burning. Iris, I can't do this. Yes, you can. Well, how do you know? Because you're exactly what CCC Media needs. You have a point of view that's entirely your own, and you know the city better than anyone in that room. You grew up here. You not only survived Iron Heights, you came out on the other side a hero. I could melt Taylor's face. You went from juvenile delinquent to voice of the people. And I'm talking about your writing, not your meta powers. Your articles speak to people because you're one of them. That's your point of view. It's also how CCC Media speaks to the city and why people respond so strongly. Okay, but... Being a journalist and being in charge are way different. Look, I know that it's scary, but think how you leveled up as a meta. I'm sure that was scary too. Try terrifying, but somehow I knew I could handle an upgrade. Okay, then do that at the office too. Your point of view is perfect for this company. You've already learned how to own it now. Go, sell it. Go. Sell it. Turns out the Royal Flush Gang kidnapped a prisoner named Jared Haywood. Any luck tracking him down? Not yet. What about the Mercury Labs chip? Uh, Chester's still trying to figure out why the Royal Flush Gang would need it. Okay. Not anymore. Turns out that chip's so cutting edge, it has like a thousand different applications, so. Sorry, I blew it. This seems to be my thing today. Hey. What's going on, Chester? I'm sensing a whole lot of sadness. Yeah, aren't you supposed to still be with Ray? I have resigned. As Ray's liaison, turns out I messed that up too. Now I'm like dead to him. <laughs> oh my God, Cecile, I am I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, 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 it's okay. Hey, you gotta go easy on yourself. How? The day I'm having, I feel like I might as well just Gamble my per diem away at the crafts table with Grandma Runk. I mean, TechCon's playing in cryptocurrency this year, which barely feels like real money, even though it totally is. What if the Royal Flush Gang didn't change their MO? Chester, can we find out if any Star City casinos also take cryptocurrency? Yeah. Ah, damn. Turns out they all do, because they'll happily take your money however they can. And check this out. These casinos have over 50 mil in their digital coffers. So what exactly would the Royal Flush Gang need to pull off a heist like this? Computer with the next level microchip. Massive power source to run it. And an expert in cyber espionage to execute the hack. They didn't change their MO. They just leveled up. Okay, how do we stop him? Uh, the second the hack starts, I can trace it and ping their location. And I'll be ready. 